Hey guys and welcome! So today is yet another requested video and one you guys has asked me to do for a very long time. But the reason why I didn't make the video earlier is because that I really needed my snake to work together with me. And that is simply because today's video is 5 easy steps to get your ball python from eating live to eating dead. It can be super frustrating having a ball python that just doesn't want to eat dead but only prefers to eat live because feeding live is not something to enjoy, it's not particularly nice to hear either the mouse or the rat scream. I myself do prefer to feed dead all the time, it's either pre-krill or frozen. I see no reason at all to feed live. Also, I do believe that there has been some studying into whether or not the snake reacts differently to the mouse being alive or being dead. And the conclusion of it all was that it basically didn't matter, the snake did not care. So if you are able to feed dead, then you definitely should. But I'm guessing since you are on this video right now, you may have some problems with your ball python not wanting to take that. So that is exactly what I'm gonna help you do today. I strongly do believe that every ball python will be able to take dead. So if you're out there being frustrated, ball python doesn't want to eat dead, don't worry, help is coming. And I'm really hoping that the things that I have experienced, the things that I have done, making it possible for me to feed my ball pythons dead may also help you. So fingers crossed. You may remember my golden ball python, my golden girl. She was in a feeding strike and when I finally got her to eat, it was a live prey. And she did continue for quite some time only wanting to eat live and I thought to myself this can't be right there must be some way that I can get her to eat dead and there actually was it's not even pre-kill that she's eating she is eating fully frozen or thawed mice and rats now without any trouble and that is such a relief when telling you these five steps I am going to assume that your ball python wants to eat and are not in the feeding strike if your ball python is in the feeding strike you can also follow these steps as well but I'm going to assume assume that the ball python wants to eat. So here goes the five easy steps to getting your ball python from eating live to eating dead. The first thing I did when I noticed my ball python did not want to eat was that I had a look at the setup. In this case it was a terrarium. I had a look. Is everything as it should be? We have to remember that ball pythons in the wild, they do live underground in small hollows in complete darkness. That's where they feel safe, that's where they feel secure. Only come out at night in order to hunt. I had a look at the terrarium. Did it mimic the way that it looks in nature? And the truth was, it did not. It did not mimic this small, safe and secure place. So step one was concluding that the terrarium was not as it should be and that I should change it. Step two was changing the terrarium, making sure that everything was as it should be. This girl, she was also stressed. So what I did, I put her in a smaller terrarium, made sure that she was feeling safe and secure. I actually did put a towel on top of her terrarium to mimic this darkness that she lives in in the wild. So I placed her in the smaller terrarium, I gave her hide, I gave her some water. So that's the second step I took. If something was wrong with the terrarium that I concluded in the first step, I changed it in the second step. The third step I did is the one that I personally find the most difficult one and that is the leaving it alone. Leave your snake alone. If your snake is stressed, if it has trouble eating, leave it alone it needs to de-stress. That's what I did. I left her completely alone for at least a week and then I tried to feed her. The first feeding I did was actually a live feeding and she took it right away. Right after the feeding I did exactly what I did. I left her alone. She still had the towel on top of her. Another week completely alone and then I tried to feed her pre-kill. She took the pre-kill right away and I was over the moon. It, I was so happy to see her finally eating dead even though it was a pre-kill. What a pre-kill is, is that you buy a live mice or rat and you euthanize it before feeding it to the snake. That is not something that's very nice to do and you really have to do it the right way otherwise the mice or the rat will suffer. There's no need for doing that. But the pre-kill I feel is one of the most difficult steps to do as an owner because even though it is more brutal it is easier to just throw in the mice or the rat rather than having to kill it yourself. So I completely understand that's a difficult step but that step was very very necessary for my ball python to start eating again. Let's just quickly recap. The first thing I did when my ball python started to refuse eating dead was I had a look at the 
terrarium. Is there anything that needs to be changed? If there is, I changed it. I made it safe and secure for her. I made it dark. I made her feel all de-stressed. The third thing I did was that I left her completely alone. I only checked on her once a day to make sure that she had water and that she was doing all right. Other than that, I left her completely alone. The fourth thing I did was I fed her pre-kill. These were the first four steps getting your ball python to eating dead. The fifth step I did was I fed her frozen. The first time I offered her frozen, she would not eat it. The second time I offered her frozen was a week after again. I did not feed her pre-kill alive. I simply waited again. The third time I fed her frozen, she would finally eat. It took a little bit of time. It took a little bit of wriggling the mouse around, but she finally took it. And now she's eating like a machine. She takes every time I offer her. That was the five steps that I took to make my ball python eat. These five steps not only worked for my golden ball python, but they also worked for my purple passion ball python, Rowena. She had the same issue. She would much more prefer to eat live. But right now, I mean, gosh, she's so fast. I mean, I barely see her when I'm feeding her inside the terrarium. I don't even see her head. I mean, she's so fast. She just jumps right out, takes the rat, and then pulls it right back into her hide. But she is eating like a machine. And the reason why I'm super thrilled that she's eating is because when I bought her, the person I bought her from told me that she had been in a very, very prolonged feeding strike, which is also the reason why she's so small. This girl is three years old, same as my golden girl, but their size, there's such a big difference to, to their size. So I'm super excited that she's finally eating so well right now. And this proves to me that these five steps that I'm using, not only did they work on my two bull pythons, but I know that they have worked for others as well. A lot of people have been writing me following these five steps telling me that finally their snake was able to eat again or to eat dead and not only in ball pythons I've also had people writing me with corn snakes about this it's definitely worth a try guys let me know if it works for you it certainly has worked for me I can tell you that I have two extra tips for you guys one of them is when you're feeding wait until nightfall because that's when the ball python in the wild will naturally come out and in search of food you might also also have if you've watched them in the terrarium at night they will be much much more active in the terrarium because it's their instinct to go and search for food once it's dark so the first tips here is to only feed when it's dark the second tips I wanted to give you guys is something that's also worked for me when you're bringing out the mice or the rat and you're getting ready to feed place the mice or the rat on top of the terrarium giving it time to what can you say giving it time to smell when we bring the mice and the rats up here we usually bring them all in a big bowl because usually we're trying to feed everyone at once of course there are some who needs to be fed weekly and some who needs to be fed once a month but the bigger snakes only needs to be fed like once a month and we tend to do it all at the same time but once we bring that big bowl up here and we place it and usually it takes us a couple of minutes before we're ready all of the snakes will be out of the terrarium and they will just be in a strike position ready to eat so that might also help you give your snakes a couple of minutes to just get ready to just just smell the rat and then go into the strike position. Before I go guys, I just really wanted you to meet this beautiful girl. This is the girl that went into a feeding strike and got very thin, but now she's eating like a machine. And look guys, She's gained a lot of weight and she's just looking so amazing. I'm so pleased guys, she's one of my absolute best girls and I am planning on breeding this girl with Noelle as well as my other bull python, my purple passion. Look at her guys, look at how beautiful, look at how stunning she is, she's almost glowing. I'm so pleased, I'm so happy that I did everything I could and I actually managed to get her to eat again. That I did my research, that I tried a lot of different things in order to make her eat but I think now that I found the perfect way for her terrarium to be and I found the perfect way of me handling her feeding her and taking care of her so now everything is just <laughs> everything is just perfect she's so healthy now and she is eating like a machine I can tell you so this makes me 
so happy guys nothing better than this and when she's shedding one big beautiful piece it's like it's Christmas all right guys that's all for today I really do hope you enjoyed this video on five easy steps on how to get your ball python from eating live to eating dead it's taking me quite a long time to get through to this conclusion but this really works for me and I know it has worked for countless of others so I really hope it will work for you as well Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Do remember we have a Facebook group now and that one is really booming. There are so many amazing people in there. If you haven't joined us yet, please come and do. The link is right down below in the description box. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Just Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye.